I'm Steven Lyman. I'm the co-author of The Complete Guide to Japanese Drinks. Uh, I live in Fukuoka, Japan most of the year, although I spend a fair amount of time in New York City. We're here at Brooklyn Kura, which is the first sake brewery in New York. This is an active brewery and tap room, and we're here to talk about Japanese alcohol. The history of alcohol in Japan is really as old as Japan itself. Even before rice cultivation reached Japan from China, the Japanese indigenous people were making alcohol. The book is broken into two sections. One is washu, or Japanese alcohol traditions, and the other is yoshu, or Western alcohol traditions. Sake, shochu, awamori, and umeshu have all been parts of Japanese drinking culture for centuries. But the Western style alcohols really weren't introduced until Commodore Perry opened Japan in the 1800s. And he actually brought two barrels of whiskey as a gift for the emperor. That whiskey never made it to the palace, but there were a lot of happy samurai. Unfortunately, when he left, the Japanese didn't know how to make whiskey. So they were making fake whiskeys using food colorings and things like that. But a young chemist named Masataka Taketsuru went to Scotland to learn how to make whiskey. He came back and established both Suntory and Nikko Whiskey, which are two of the largest whiskey makers in Japan now. And they're now winning international awards for their single malts. I was also interested in introducing traditional Japanese alcohols that Western people don't really know about. For example, Japanese shochu, which may be considered the best kept secret in Japan. Shochu outsells sake among Japanese consumers. This is a distilled spirit from Japan with about a 500 year history. There are over 400 active distilleries. Japanese shochu is a very diverse spirits category. It's not about what it's made from, it's about how it's made. So the base ingredients are really diverse. Perhaps even more interesting is shochu's older and more obscure cousin, Okinawan awamori, is primarily made with Thai rice and an ancient mold. It's a very, very traditional drink and it's aged in clay pots. Rumor has it before World War II there were uh, awamori aging for up to 200 years, which unfortunately were destroyed during some of the battles of Okinawa. The Japanese cocktail scene literally arose from the rubble of World War II. One of the most influential early bartenders in Japan was living in a burned out building in Tokyo when he got a job serving in a bar to the American soldiers. And he spent the next 70 years training bartenders, creating a bartender guild and professionalizing the industry. And he remains one of the most influential bartenders in Japanese history. So I really hope the readers of this book can learn all about Japanese alcohol traditions, history, culture, drinking styles, and hopefully learn something new about some of the indigenous alcohol styles such as shochu and awamori.